the NBA, the National Basketball Association, changing people's lives, man. The thing that I hate, though, is y'all let these motherfucking shoe companies come in and give these motherfucking players these contracts. Exhibit A, Dame Lillard, an absolute beast on the court, an animal for the Portland Trailblazers. He signed a deal with Adidas for this new signature shoe to come out. Y'all see it, and I see it, too. The thing is, Adidas and Dame is asking over $100 for these kicks. Bruh, if you don't get these, all I got is thirty dollars left to my name as shoes on out of here. This motherfucking built-in sock, man. Nigga got some ergo to the mailboxes. That motherfucking cafeteria lady colorway on, nigga. We ain't got no more green beans. All we got is peas and cone. Shoe having ass, nigga. I guess you thought if you do them leather, all one solid color, these motherfuckers would be heat. No, sir, they still look orthopedic in the motherfucker. Oh my god. My nigga James Harden, fear the beard. He got him a contract with Adidas too. Hey, man, it's a big thing for him, man. He used to be six man of the year with the Oklahoma Thunder. Came to the Houston Rockets, changed the face of the franchise. Now he's the man. Shoot contract, big money. Man, look at these smushed paper towel ass shoes, nigga. Them is the shoes you get when you first cut the game on. You got to win 10 games, nigga, to unlock another colorway. These motherfuckers look like a pack of folded napkins. These motherfucking err my feet hurts. Yeah, James, we got you the all terry cloth basketball shoe. It absorbs sweat mid jumper. And this goes to show you that every basketball shoe deal ain't a good shoe deal. This nigga Clay Thompson signed a deal with Li Ning in China. He went to them and said, uh, make my shit look like uh, front porch furniture, real vibrant. I'm glad to see him take his L, because light skinned niggas been winning there since Drake body meat. Look at that nigga face. Man, it's some bullshit. Nigga shoes look like two Super Nintendo controllers. Niggas ashamed of him and shit. He brought him in the arena in a Hirachi box. Signed the shoe deal, they said. It'll be dope, they said. And he got on some Urbi racials. And Dwayne Wade, he ain't never had no luck with shoes. Shit, this is when he was with Converse. Them motherfuckers look like waterproof family reunion shoes in this bitch. And Dwayne Wade been with three different companies. He went to Nike, Jumpman, and then they made these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers was worse than the first pair. Nigga shoes got a built-in sink drain on them motherfuckers. Then he signed a deal with Lee Ning way before Clay Thompson. They made these shoes and they seemed kind of all right. But then they wanted 150 for these motherfuckers. Bitch, if you don't get these er kill yourselves out this motherfucker. Then you had a couple big dogs in the game come through like Shaq. Them motherfucking Reebok pumps. Them motherfuckers was hard body. Hard body. Then all of a sudden, nigga just said, fuck it, nigga. I'm going to let these motherfucking niggas with all left hands make my shit. You know, I wanted to make a shoe that somebody could snowboard in and shoot a free throw at the same time. Come on, Shaq, with them stiff-ass boots, man. Come on, Shaq, man, with these motherfucking restaurant edition Air Maxes, nigga. Look at the jump, man. Look like the nigga's putting in a light bulb. Oh, my God. And then sometimes even the greats have a lapse in judgment. I mean, Jordan got the best-selling shoe ever, you know what I mean? And he let these motherfuckers make this shit on the Walmart laptop in this bitch. Nigga got some er, I just got out, nigga. By these, you get a base model Camry, nigga. Buy one, get the rest of them free-looking ass shoes, nigga. Oh, my God.